right, let's start the day. Let's get it. Hey, what's up you guys? It's Cash and today I'm bringing you another YouTube video. I hope your week has been a successful week. On top of that, very productive and efficient with your time and management and more so than just our goals and our work life. I hope you've had the time to check in on yourself physically, emotionally, see how your mindset is doing because the year just started and we need to carry this energy all the way through. So today, my friends, I wanted to talk to you about how to become your dream self, shifting your identity, and unlocking your goals. I'm really excited about this topic. It's some things that I've been working through myself, and I know a lot of us in life are working through these as well. So let's go ahead and create a dialogue and a conversation where we can all come along and share our experiences and our feedback, definitely in the comment sections and with our friends and family who might enjoy this video as well. If you're new to the channel, I hope you take the time out to look at my previous videos. I have categories that range from travel, lifestyle, motivation, and inspiration. And if that's something that you find intriguing, I hope you take the time out to subscribe to the channel. I'd definitely love to have you be a part of this community and just help me grow the channel over these years. So I'm excited to have you here and let's see where this road takes us. All right, so with that being said, I'm gonna take some time get some hydration in my body, haven't had anything to drink just yet, and make a protein shake because I want to go to the gym, get in a nice cardio session. I've been missing my time in the gym. So come follow me along with this as we get this thing going here. Just finish the smoothie. Let's see how it tastes. Oh yeah, that's good. Yeah, about to go to the gym. Oh, I got them hands. Hey, what's up you guys? We're gonna go ahead and jump right into today's video on how to become your dream self, shifting your identity and unlocking your goals. So before we can find our dream self, we first need to create an identity shift. And reason being is because we need to align with our core values. We need to find alignment in our beliefs and alignment in the best version that we see ourselves becoming. So let's clarify what is an identity shift. So an identity shift is when you choose to change your identity and moving closer to your ideal self. In this process of doing so, when you take the time to self-reflect on who you want to become in a positive citizen in the world, this is a change for the better. And to move through that process, we first need to figure out what do you actually believe about yourself? For example, are you a person who believes you deliver value to people? Are you a person who believes you're healthy? Do you believe you're wonderfully made? Other statements and questions that could be a part of your belief pattern is, I'm a person who's been abused. I'm a person who's been victimized. I'm a person who believes I'm afraid to try. And so as we dissect those questions, as you can see, there's a set of questions that are on the positive side of thinking about who we are and who we're becoming. And then there's another side where these are more so limiting beliefs that can hold us back 
into truly becoming the best versions of ourselves. So for anyone who's resonating with those negative beliefs, I wanna state this right now, don't feel bad about those beliefs that you've been holding on to because there's a moment that's taking place where you're acknowledging that you have the awareness of this emotional state that you're in. And now we know that we can move in a direction seeking us to abundant beliefs and keeping us further away from those beliefs that are limiting. And truthfully, this is just a part of being human. We all have those thoughts that range from positive thoughts and negative thoughts. We have the thoughts where we're proud of the skill sets that we possess. We have the thoughts where we're ashamed of skill sets and bad habits that we possess. And right now is an opportunity within this new year to break away from those chains that are keeping you stuck in certain patterns, repeating certain cycles of life that you no longer want to exist in, and also the way that you're being perceived amongst your peers, coworkers, friends and families so with this video here I want to assist you in breaking that mold so one thing you have to keep in mind that we're going to shift away from is those insecurities that we're holding on to those deficiencies that we feel like we lack all that is a combination that's happening 24 7 in your mindset consciously or subconsciously that has a lot of power and impact on how you perceive yourself let's get into some of the methods of how to shift your identity who are your influences and what is influencing you we've all heard the statement that you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with but I also believe that in today's age where we have an abundance of public figures personalities celebrities and online influencers, there's more than just the five friends that is influencing us because what we're consuming has a big influence on us as well. That's why I bring up the question, who is influencing you and what is influencing you? So here's something that I do to manage all of this. Every quarter, I take the time out to review the friends groups that I'm investing time into, the social media accounts that I'm investing time into, and ask myself, are these people bringing me to a place where I feel like I'm striving and becoming closer to this ideal self that I want to express out into life? Or is it taking me into an opposite direction that I don't align with? Who you spend time with absolutely matters because consciously or subconsciously, you're going to start emulating certain behaviors you picked up from that friends group or online community that's going to make itself be manifested in your world whether that's through your body language certain patterns and gestures that you do and you may not even realize it's taking place so once you have these characteristics and behaviors documented and knowing that this is where i want to head you wanna make sure that you're implementing this to the point where it becomes automatic. Identity shifting method number two, work on your confidence every day. So I believe everyone in the world has huge amount of potential. I truly believe it's somewhere deep within us that we just have to tap into and bring that out of us. I also believe that some of us are not willing to try because we lack the confidence to explore what our potential could allow us to become. Whether that's having the fear of failure or the fear of succeeding and how people may perceive you in either outcome. And that's something that we have to eliminate, the fear of other people's opinions. And that's why being confident in who you are is so essential. So the opinions of others will not impact your core values and the beliefs that you have about yourself. I don't want anyone to be a person of big dreams, mass potential, great ideas, and the rest of us never get to see those ideas come to life. So I'm encouraging you to act boldly to achieve those dreams because one of those ideas can be the next cure, can be the next medical breakthrough, can be another way of how we can have an efficient ecosystem and sustaining the planet. So we have to act boldly with our dreams and have the confidence to see it all the way through. So here's some tips of what you can do to be more confident in your day-to-day -day routine. My favorite is get in the gym. That reminds me so much of this quote by Deion Sanders, one of the best NFL players of all time. And uh, this quote just has so much confidence. He states, if you look good, you feel good. If you feel good, you play good. If you play good, they pay good. To me, that highlights what the gym can do for you. As you start to see your body transition from an unhealthy phase to a healthy phase, you start to see your body tone up, get a little bit more definition. You start looking yourself in the mirror and asking yourself, who is this? I don't recognize this person. And this person is a better version of yourself. That has to provide some type of uplifting emotional state within your body. The second thing that you can do is change the way you walk. Maybe you're walking with your back bent over, you're walking with your 
your shoulders drop, you're not smiling as often as you should be, and you should ask yourself, the dream self that you want to see on a day-to-day -day basis, how does that person show up in life? Are they standing tall? Are their shoulders straight? Is their back straight? Do they have a big smile? Do they light up a room when they walk into it? Do people enjoy being around this person? That's who we want to see on a day-to-day basis. Identity shifting method number three. Change the stories that you're telling yourself and others. It's so easy to reflect on our past and highlight those moments that seem to be detrimental, to focus on those moments that feel like they've limited our growth. And if we harvest those emotions over a period of time, it's easy to tell that story to others and yourself constantly, whether you're vocalizing out loud or whether this is something that you're just keeping internally, you're telling yourself, I've been a victim. I've gotten the short end of the stick. Life hasn't been fair to me. It seems so easy for other people to do it. And we can't control what happens in life, but we can control what we think. And if it's possible for you to do this, I would recommend you say those moments that tried to hinder me has actually helped shape my character, has made me stronger, has proved to me that I'm able to overcome and endure obstacles that are unforeseen. Those moments have prepared me for a season of growth, a season of abundance. So I want you to start paying attention to the stories that's repeating in your life, especially the ones that you're vocalizing. Do you always go into great detail about unfortunate situations? Do you have a habit of skimming over the good parts of your life and only focusing on the negative parts? Try to avoid talking too much about the bad and more about the good. There's an emotional state that happens to our bodies when we say, I'm happy, I'm full of life. We feel like our chest is bigger and we take up more space in the room because we're putting out this great energy. In comparison to those moments where we say, I'm sick, I'm tired, life's been so hard. In those moments you wanna shrivel up and take up less room because there's not confidence growing out of those statements. So let's try to put more emphasis on those positive moments in our life, even if it's small victories, because it's leading us to a direction where we can unlock the ideal version of ourselves. So in 2022, I want you to eliminate those statements that fall under a victim mentality and start writing out statements that say, I'm a victor. So as I wrap this video up here, I want you to take some time out for yourself this week and write out what does my dream self achieve at consistently? That's such a powerful question to lead us into the next week and I hope you have time in your schedule to dive in deeper in answering that question. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Sprinkling just some wisdom, some knowledge and insight on you guys today. If you like this video, leave a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel. There's gonna be more videos on the way, some things you can expect is gonna revolve around food, fitness, mindset, encouragement, travel, just a lot of things. So I hope you guys are being patient with me as we keep growing the content here. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.